So I've been meaning to do this one for a while now. Uh, it should be pretty quick. Uh, what I'm talking about in this one is Remote Mouse. Uh, it is a tool that I use uh, really for dictation. It's probably so much more powerful than that. I, I really just don't use it for much more than that. But um, I'll show you a few things it can do. Uh, I do have the pro version. Um, but the first thing you need to do is either get it on the phone or get it on your computer um, for this to be useful. You go to remotemouse.net. Um, you can just take get now. Pick your device. I have Windows computer. Download, install it, and uh, it works pretty easily. Um, now, switching over. Oops. Switching over to my phone, uh, it's just as easy, obviously, to pull it up in the App Store. Uh, let's get my phone on the screen here. There you go. Uh, just search it in the App Store. Uh, remote Mouse, Remote Mouse Pro. I think the Pro is like two bucks. You can add some features on that pretty easily um, and uh, get some additional like I think Pro gives you ads free but you also get a media controller and things like that. Uh, so when I open this on my phone I get a mouse. Now I can move this mouse here with the, uh, with the mouse on my computer or I can move it with the touchpad. It's what my it turns my phone into. So it turns my phone into a little touchpad, and I can move the cursor around. Now I do have other options up here. Let's click through and see what I got. <laughs> so it gives me these options with the mouse, uh, media controls. Um, it can let me uh, uh, open a few things on my computer, uh, and it's got. It'll show you the the keys as far as controlling your computer you've got um, a tapping with your finger a tap with my finger <laughs> like I was doing before um, that will act as a left click just did a minimize there it's probably off your screen so if I tap with my left finger it will minimize it um, and I get my mouse back I use it like a touchpad come back down here and I'll bring it back up we don't need that there. Get rid of that. So you'll see I actually accidentally bumped the screen. I got a little R here. And that would transfer from my computer, uh, from my phone rather, to the computer. Um, of course, I don't really need that. I'm not typing anymore right now. But this is where the power comes in because Siri and my iPhone has recognized my talk to text. Uh, so it's gotten pretty good at figuring out what I'm saying. So if I were to press the microphone down here on my phone, uh, it will start taking a talk to text to just show you what that's like. I'll open up uh, Notepad and um, let's see here. So if I'm using this, I can use this to dictate. So my phone indicates that I am recording, period. And I hit the microphone button. <laughs> you get everything. There you go. So uh, let me bump that to the next line. Um, obviously, I hadn't hit the button yet when I said that. But you can see it's picking me up pretty good because uh, the iPhone is used to my talk to text. I've trained it. It knows what I'm saying. It knows uh, uh, the words I use. Um, and it's gotten pretty good at it. So I can use this for talk to text. This is uh, basically a free app. And I'm not, uh, I'm not messing around with Cortana. I'm not messing around with Dragon. I'm not doing any other voice to text. But I can use my phone, which has already learned so much about my speech, to make this work. So if I'm typing a motion, I can go voice to voice to text now comes the defendant by the council Joseph Pata alright and it, it puts that up there but that's not just it I mean uh, sure it, it can get words uh, and that's fine but if I sorry, down to the next line 
Um, it's it's just like talk to text in your text messages um, or in a, or in an email. So if I use punctuation, that works too. So I go like this. Let's start that back up. Please stand with your feet together and your arms down at your sides. Period. Do not start to perform the test until I tell you to do so. Period. Do you understand the instructions so far? Question mark. Ah, all right. We'll see. I'm in Notepad here, and of course I don't have Word Wrap. Um, I, don't know, I think it did pretty well, didn't it? Or maybe it missed a capital letter with the please. Uh, I think had I been starting with a new line uh, up at the beginning, um, it would have worked out just fine. It gets my dictation pretty good. I, I'm quite impressed with it. And this is this is what I use it for. Often what I do is I I take notes on videos. I'm listening to something. Um, so if somebody is saying something and that's in my headphones, yeah, that's great. But I just repeat it back out loud. Uh, using remote mouse into the computer and it gets what I'm saying correctly so I've, I've used this in a hearing where uh, I had another attorney I had gotten the trans or I had gotten the audio of another attorney cross-examining the same witness that I had to cross-examine and uh, I would listen to the questions he asked and the responses and if I liked the question I would just say it out loud and this would record it. So I wasn't typing down or transcribing anything. This was doing it all for me. So um, this mouse movement here, uh, this is actually coming from my phone, um, works as a touchpad, which is great with my Surface um, because it, it gives me a little bit more control uh, as if I had the, the type pad attached. Uh, like the keyboard attached with the, with the touchpad. I, I get the option with my phone. What this also does for me though um, is with these clicks up here at the top, you see, I kind of see that flash when I press right here, uh, that can help me advance a um, PowerPoint presentation. So it gives me a lot of control with, over this thing. Uh, it gives me control over media, uh, it gives me control of my apps. Uh, and I can control my computer pretty well from here with the options that it gives me. So I just wanted to show that to you. Maybe it's something you can use. Um, if nothing else, you just have to be on the same Wi-Fi. And uh, it, I didn't have to do anything to configure this. When I installed it on the computer, it recognized my app as soon as I installed the app and started it on my phone. I was connected. No special connections. And I'm using my phone uh, to control the, um, to the computer. It's free. I don't need to sp buy a special clicker or controller for power pre PowerPoint presentations. Um, it just works, and that's all you want it to do is just work. So there you go. I, I would highly recommend Remote Mouse, um, and uh, I hope that helps you out.